In this video, we are talking all about the mouth area. So if you have nasolabial folds or the dreaded marionette lines, stay tuned because we're going to work on those. Welcome back. Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 21 years and so I've worked on a lot of nasal labial folds and a lot of marionette lines. This area around our mouth gets lots of use. It will also <laughs> tend to accumulate tension and so when we release all that and get everything flowing, blood flow is always golden when we're trying to rejuvenate an area. So let's get started. First, I'm just going to use my hands, but really, if you have a gua sha tool, something like the Anma or any other gua sha tool that you really know how to use and are comfortable using in the area, grab it. We'll do that second. But in reality, I always like to go in with this first because it helps release fascia, I think, better than my fingers can in some areas, and it makes the job quicker. So if you were here, if you were in my treatment room, came to me as a client, I would use this first and then I would go in and strip out those muscles because there'll be a lot less tension in the muscles to strip out. Now when I say strip out, I know that sounds harsh, but we're really working on the muscles that get a lot of use and we're not pummeling them, but we have to use a little bit of pressure because you think about how many times you do this in a day. Some people even pull into that while they're sleeping. I've seen clients do it they'll fall asleep in the goal. <laughs> and I'm trying to undo all this and it just comes back. So these are powerful muscles. Now, in general, the muscles in the face are way less powerful than say the muscles in our arms and our legs. But remember, the jaw is the most powerful muscle in the entire body. So I'm gonna talk about that jaw in another video. And I also have a series of videos that I've done on releasing the jaw but if your jaw is really tight, just know that this area, any area on your face is gonna look worse. All right, so you wanna take off all the makeup in the area. Now I'm gonna put on some of the HydroLift. It's a hydrating conductive gel. It stays wet for a very long time. And once again, I forgot I'm doing massage rooms. So basically, you just wanna put on some massage medium. This this will work. So if we think about what's going on and if we start, I like to start below so that the area above can lift. So if you think about what's going on here, we've got the depressors, right? And it's just this complex right here. And so this will pull and this will pull. So we need to release both parts. So I like to go in here and sort of anchor and you're gonna pull and you'll feel sort of more tension in different areas. You'll feel it from different areas more. So I'm using one to anchor and I'm pulling, I'm stretching that back out to sort of a neutral position. You can also do it by going inside the mouth. Let's wash our hands. You'll take the opposite hand to the side of the mouth that you're working on. And you just do the same. And you're just focusing on this that pulls this down. It can be kind of wiry. And so yeah, you're going in kind of kind of a, a pie slice that's kind of double double wide here. <laughs> now you can get that done, and then sometimes our rosorius will be holding some tension through here. So it's our smile muscle. So I like to anchor about the corner of the mouth and then go searching for it because it's up underneath a bunch of different muscles. So when you're on it, you'll feel it because we use it all the time. Well, we hopefully use it all the time. Oh, 
the side of my mouth is coming up. Okay, so let's do the other side. So yeah, anchor and then come on up. Or you can pull them away from each other. And you'll want a little bit of massage medium, but if you get too much, it's you're just sort of slide past the muscles. You'll dive past them. Okay, let's do this Resorius. Okay, finger at the corner of the mouth. Feeling around for the tight, tight muscle. Oh, there it is. Okay. Woo! When you're on it, you feel it. Trust me. Okay, so go inside the mouth. And remember the slices like this. And I'm spending a little extra time where I feel a lot of sort of mealiness and denseness in the muscle. And then lastly, there's usually balls at the corner of the mouth because there is so many muscles coming together here. Just kind of knead those out. Okay, now, so there's other massage moves where you can go inside the mouth, but I will do that on another video. Um, like really intensely inside the mouth. You know what, I'll just do them now, okay. <laughs> So you're gonna take your finger, and this I got from Jane Mann's facial contouring class, facial contouring massage class, so if you're an esthetician, look that class up, it is a game changer for your practice. So you're gonna take a finger, pointing it sort of towards the mandible or the bone, the jawbone, and you're just gonna stick it like right there, or as close as you can get to there. Now, this will burn, and you want to just stop there and, and just hold it and sort of, it will just burn for a little bit and then it will let up a little bit. It's not saying, you know, dig deeper, just stay there because you're getting a nice stretch with that. Then I want you to move it just a millimeter either direction usually towards the center of the chin. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it one more millimeter towards the center of the chin. If you have nails, this will be really hard to do. I would just do the outside of the mouth stuff. See how that's looking better? All right, so let's do the other side. So finger pointing towards you. And then you're gonna go straight down here. Oh! <laughs> Good. And then, you want to move a millimeter this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and then one more. Now, if you were doing this by yourself, I would hold it about a minute each place. Wow, 
Oh, it feels like it's making my eyes water. Okay, so you've released the inside and the outside and then did a deeper release to some of these attachments to this, this muscle that pulls down a lot. Nasal labia folds. I've seen people just do a stripping like this on either side, and that's fine, but they're missing some other areas that can collect lymph, just so you can sort of see. I think people press too hard. Although look, this area through here has the densest fascia on the entire face. So we're just moving up here. And I have makeup on my face, so I have slip and glide. I didn't take it off down here, up here. So we're just feeling up under, oh my God, <laughs> up underneath the bone, right? This cheekbone, just feeling up underneath it. And we're feeling for pockets of denseness and there's plenty. Oh goodness. If you have sinuses, you're gonna feel this, especially up around here. And then we're gonna start to ride the bone from underneath. Ride it. Oh, mama mia. Oh. Whew. And so that will help this cheek sort of float up and it's gonna get rid of the trapped inflammation or lymph toxins that get stuck up underneath here and through here. So I like to do a little going straight up the cheek. And then you can go in if you like and do this one. I've seen people do that. It feels like a cheat, you know. It just feels like if you don't get the cheek as well, that it's just doing half the job. So you wanna definitely, I mean, that's a nice move too, but you wanna work up underneath the cheek because a lot of lymph gets stuck up there too. Let's do the other side. All right, so just feeling up underneath. Sort of just inching your way up underneath this cheek. Right underneath the bone, you're just riding on that bone, and you'll probably need a little bit of massage oil or some lotion, some moisturizer on your face to do this. But like I said, I have many layers of moisturizer with um, makeup on top because I didn't take it off this area. Oh, goodness gracious! <laughs> So just make sure you feel the bone, right? That you're, that you're on top of it. That's, that's where you want to be. That will help release all that stuff. And then you can go in and do like what I've seen other girls do, this, this thing. I don't really like that. I don't like pulling on the top of here so much because I feel like there's not a lot of musculature that holds this up, right? That holds up this lip. And I feel like because it gets longer with age, I don't like going in there and, I showed duck lips last video, but I don't like pulling on this that much. Sometimes, you know, you need that pressure to release that fascia. But I don't like this, all this pulling out of that area. And then I was talking about last week, how people will put their mascara on and they go, I'm like, stop it. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, I, I don't know. Uh, you can do that move. It makes the area look better, but just know if you're releasing up underneath these cheeks like this, you're gonna get all that lymph that tends to get trapped through here anyway. And if you release the depressing depressors, they, this will lift a little bit and then this will have, will lift a little bit and all this can drain, right? So. That's the way I treat this area on clients. I do a few other moves depending on what they need. But now you can go in with microcurrent and lift the area. You can also use the Anma, like what I was talking about, get the whole area. I don't like this because it really warms up the tissues without having to do all the massage with your fingers. And it does release at all these different levels, so it is nice. And it's not like a flat stone, so it's not gonna like flatten out the tissues, because 
see people using those flat gua sha tools and I, I just I'm not a fan because I think gua sha tools used incorrectly can really smash down a muscle and you know this is a muscle and we want nice plump cheeks so you don't you won't see me raking really hard over the top of the cheek you can do it lightly um, you can release up underneath it but I tend to really like gua sha tools that are more like this and not the flat stones where you scrape really hard across your your muscle I just not crazy about that so we'll go ahead and take some microcurrent this move is good for the jowls as well this is a vector and I talk about vectors in my lift it like a pro series a vector basically is a move with a device that cuts across areas of facial sag or common facial aging. So this is a vector. So we're cutting across the jowl area, I'm lifting this up. I wanted to release this a little bit underneath. Yeah, so there you have it. You can also go across the lips for good measure. If you guys didn't see my releasing the lips video from last week or releasing the mouth um, I threw in a lot of tips and tricks I've used I've worked I've learned over the years all right and then with nasal labial folds you'll want to you know lift up over the cheeks lift the ball of the cheek I'm just going fast here. You would go much slower. And so you would lift the cheeks so you get less of a line through here. So we release the nasal labia fold so that they can drain. They will get better with time. This this is kind of something you always have to release because a lot of us will sit there in RBF face, <laughs> resting, resting bitch face, as they say, and we will be in that position for long periods of time. So you really have to, you know, if you learn to just do it while you're in the car, you know, like you could do a pressure point, <laughs> just lift it up while you're in the car. But we really have to stretch this area back out because it just gets so contracted. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.